As many of you know, I've kind of made it my unofficial life's mission to dispel the myth that shot placement is everything. I believe shot placement is critically important, but even more crucial sometimes is the construction of your bullet and the way it behaves on impact. Something I often talk about is the importance of frontal diameter, and that's what I want to address today. So in front of me, I've got a series of bullets ranging from 270 right up to 416. We're spreading that, uh, that broad range from your classic deer cartridges right up to cartridges that are appropriate for use on elephants and so forth. So here's the interesting thing. When bullet diameter increases, the surface area of its front that cross section of that cylindrical shape flying downrange increases exponentially. And mathematicians among us can probably do this in their heads. I can't. So I took some notes ahead of time. I just want to talk a little bit about what happens when you take a bullet like a 270 and you double its diameter. Because that's what we look for in an expanded bullet is about double the original diameter when it impact and expand. So I took some notes in my handy little notebook here. A .277 bullet, which is the true diameter of a 270 projectile, when before it's expanded, has a frontal area of 0 0.060 square inch. Now that is a small amount. It's right around a 20th part of a square inch. When you increase that to double the diameter, when it's mushroomed, let's say we have ideal performance, it's more than a half inch in diameter, right? 0.554 to be specific. Now we have 0 0.24 of a square inch. That's nearly a fourth of a square inch, nearly 25% of a square inch pushing its way through the vitals of that animal. It's a tremendous increase, right? This is why a mushroom effect expansion on impact is so crucial to killing cleanly. Now let's compare the difference in some different bullet diameters. Let's go up to a 308. The surface area before expansion is 0 0.074. So it's, geez, about what, a 16th or 17th part of a square inch? You expand it, it's over six tenths of an inch in diameter, 0.616 to be specific, and it's 0.298, nearly a third of a square inch, the surface area of a square inch. Pretty cool. How about a 338? This is where the really big hammers get started. Before expansion, 0 0.089. It's nearly a tenth of a square inch in frontal surface area. So double that of the classic 270 right and i have some examples here this is a 338 bullet and uh pretty cool you can see by the base that would uh, kind of represent the pre-expansion diameter and then the front of it will represent a properly expanded bullet that impacts within its optimal expansion window okay how about once it's expanded that bullet is now going to measure across nearly seven tenths of an inch. And the surface area is 0.35, a third of a square inch, blowing its way through the vitals. Pretty important. Moving up, we have the 375. Now, this is a classic dangerous game bullet. Here's a Barnes bullet on this side. This is a Nosler. Acubon. Both of these were 300 grain bullets when they impacted. Both of them were dug out of Kudu in Africa. And you can see how the lead core bullet lost a lot more weight. Both of them achieved about the same frontal diameter. Before expansion, they have 0.11 of a square inch. So it's more than a tenth of a square inch. Still not very much, right? After expansion, 0.44. So it's nearly a half of a a full square inch in uh, surface area. Let's get really interesting. How about a 416? Something suitable for an elephant? That's a 416, 400 grain, swift A-frame bullet, beautifully expanded. You can see by the base right there, the pre-expansion size, and then by 
the front of that expanded nose, how big it is. Before it expanded, that bullet had 0.136 of a square inch of surface area. Now it's got 0.54. That's more than a half inch of that square inch, right? It's more than a half of that square inch pushing through the vitals. Big, big deal in the way, very important to the way that a bullet transfers energy. Now, let's talk about some fun and sometimes concerning anomalies that can happen. This also is a 416 bullet. This one impacted going very fast up close and hit a lot of bone and you can see most of the nose shredded off. So the frontal diameter isn't that big anymore. Still drove very deep and it killed the animal I shot with it very quickly. Those pedals that broke off of that bullet spiraled off and created auxiliary wound channels. How about another interesting thing that can happen? What does that look like? I mean, sure, a mushroom, but also in a way, squint just right, it'll look like a parachute. Sometimes bullets will turn inside the animal's cavity and end up going base first. And then that mushroom has what they call a parachute effect. It'll slow it down and inhibit expansion. There's a lot of really unique, interesting things can happen when a bullet impacts an animal. But always remember that frontal diameter is one of the most important keys to successfully transferring energy into the vitals and killing cleanly. <laughs>